Hey everyone, it is Friday, June 20th, and this week's topic is about Father's. Um, it's an awesome topic with coming off of uh, Father's Day last Sunday. Um, I actually had a really good experience on Father's Day because my dad um, actually called me him, and I think that's the first time he's ever done that. Um, and to me, that was really amazing. Me and my father, I mean, I absolutely adore my father. I love him. Um, I take after him a lot. I'm the one that resembles my father. Um, I'm, I act a lot like him. Um, very quiet, very a little bit reserved until you get us talking and sometimes you just can't get us to shut up. I'm definitely my dad's kid. There's no question about that. He's probably the one person that really inspires me the most in my faith. And I have different, a lot of backers in my faith. Um, faith. Um, but I think knowing that my dad has struggled with certain things in his life, and knowing I struggle with certain things, and yet he's becoming a preacher or a pastor, um, to me, that means so much. Um, and it's probably a topic for another day. Maybe I have something else to put on my personal channel. But yeah, I mean, my dad is probably probably my hero. Probably like one like one of the guys I look up to. And there's not, I mean, there's very few people I like absolutely look up to, and he's definitely one of them. I know my dad had a lot of issues with my transition. I think he still does. But I think he's still struggling with them. However, I'm bearing with him because he means so much to me um uh, i know he's trying to understand and try to learn but like i said after father's day and he called me him like i know he's coming around and it really just makes my heart full to know that he's trying uh no matter um you know how however hard it is for him because i know he's seen me as daddy's little girl for a long time and and I, I can't, I, I'm not that for him, and I can't be that for him. On the front of actually being a father, it's something that I'm really torn on. Um, and it's not that I don't want to be a father. I definitely want to be a father. And I want to be the inspiration to my child, my children, that I am, that my dad is for me. I want to be able to go to my kids' baseball games and throw balls around with them or go to their theater concerts or teach them an instrument, teach them how to play the guitar, teach them how to play the violin, like I play, just really hang out with them. Um, I think the one thing that really bothers me personally is the fact that whatever kid I have will not be my own. And I always wanted to have a little Aiden, but it's something I mentally can't handle, um, having my own kids, like out of my own body. In lack of terms, it's just a mind fuck. And, uh, it, I, I, that and it will bring some serious dysphoria issues. Um, I've not looked into freezing my eggs, and my body hates itself sometimes um, when it comes to my reproductive system before I even started to, to transition. So I've always known I really wasn't going to be able to have kids, and I think it's really just had it, its effect on me. And um, it hurts. It, it, it emotionally, mentally hurts. Depending if I get married or not, there's sperm donation, there's uh, adoption, foster kids, there's people that, there's so many kids that don't even have a home or have a parent right now and already born. I don't see why not, and why not adopt, why not be a foster parent or whatever. And that's what I'm going for, I think. But I mean, only time will tell, but that's, I'm really excited for the day I can say that I'm a father. Um, and that will probably be one of the greatest days of my life, no matter how it happens. So I hope everyone has a good weekend, and I will see y'all next week. Oh, and on a last note, uh, welcome to Bo. He's our newest Wednesday guy, so welcome Bo, and uh, I will catch y'all later.